and share. Okay, don't worry, take your time. Just one second. Mm -hmm. Because I, I had to change the time. Mm -hmm. And maybe. Okay. Uh, can I can uh, they, they say something about the link. I think they are. Yes, I'm, I'm sharing the link. I to I, unfortunately, I started a little bit late. Um. No, but they, 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 they just said, uh, uh, Jack, I can just say, okay, and uh, you was asking for the, for okay. the link. Can you? So they, they must be here sometime. Yes, can you share the link with some people, please? Okay. Can you see yeah, my screen? I don't have them in my hand, no, that's the problem. Don't, don't you have the link? Ah, okay. No, yes, uh, I, I don't have them in my hand. I to share with them the, how I share it. Okay. One second. One second. I hope that you can join us. One second, let me try to to share. Uh -huh. Let me check how I share it. But should I have their, them in my in, in my handouts or not necessary? No, not necessary. If you have someone, you can invite because the more the merrier. No, I don't have anybody else. But I, I saw that uh, Arcadio says okay when you was a little bit more time. He says okay, Anna, at eleven fourteen. Yes, maybe he will join us in in nine minutes. And Edu was asking for the link at eleven twelve, so that they yes. must uh -huh. wait for the link. Yes, because I I I told them mm -hmm. I would be starting at twelve thirty. So let's wait just a little bit. Mm, I don't know how to how to share with them the link. I don't know. Yes, I I shared on, on my page below the hangout. Anna, Anna, C and Raju, Rahu, Rahu. There's someone else, I guess. I guess. Okay, hold on. Let me share the link. Yes, Rahu. Rahu is. Hi, hi, Raju. How are you? Hello, Raju. Can you hear us? Raju, can you hear us? Rahu. I don't know how to. Hazard Z, we can't hear you. Are you able to speak or no? Hmm? <clears throat> Rahu, can, can you hear us? Can you hear anything? But if he's here. Oh my God! Hello, Sharaf. How are you? 
I am doing great. Uh, uh, how about you? Hello, Martha. Hello, my dear Sharaf. How are you? <laughs> I am doing great. How about you? <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm doing fine. Very happy to find you here. Yeah, me too. Very long time. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, let's let's wait just to, a couple more minutes to see if someone else is going to join us. Let's try to keep our microphone turned off while you're not speaking because of the background noise. Okay. Okay. Oh my I, gosh. Yes, because there are some children screaming. Thank you so much. It's much better. All right, guys. Haju, let me try you again. Can you hear us? Are you able to speak? Haju? No? All right. Uh, well, maybe we can get started. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All right. So, hello, Carlos. How are you, Carlos? Hi. Hi, Anna. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm so happy that you came. Long time no see. How's it going? Okay. I'm pretty well, Anna. Thank you for, for the invitation. Ah, my pleasure. I'm so happy that you guys came. You know, I think it's yeah. uh, a good press for us. All right, guys. Okay. So let's kick off. Uh, hello, Nigoti. How are you? I'm fine. Hello, Anna. Hi. Uh, today, I hope you you can be able to see the screen, okay? Otherwise, it will be complicated for you to follow along. You have yes, to click I on the arrow that is next to my picture, okay? Yes, and I can see. Okay, uh, Sharaf, if you could uh, walk her through, I would be grateful because uh, she's a little bit lost here. Okay. Hi, Edu. How's it going? Hi, I'm fine. And you? I'm fine as well. I'm I'm very happy that you are here. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. Okay. Hello, Zina. Hello, Gina. It's me. See? Hello, Ken. Hello, Anna. Hi, Ken. How are you, Aka? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much for for coming. Oh, yeah. oh, th thank you. Thank you for holding the class. Yes, it's a, a pleasure for me. Hi, Gina. Oh. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, Anna. Hi everyone. Hi. Thank you very much for coming. Okay guys, so let's kick off. Ken, you have the floor. Can you read the introduction for us? Okay. Introduction. A co authored by Kai Bard and Martin J. Shawin. Pulitzer Prize winning biography American Prome Mesa tells the story of J. Robert Op Op Oppenheimer, an American uh, physicist, uh, best known for his role in the develop develop uh, development of the atomic bomb in 1942, Oppenheimer uh, was appointed to the Manhattan Project, uh, the secret weapons laboratory, and three years later was the de detonation of the world's first atomic bomb in the New Mexico desert. 
We knew the world would not be the same, he said. And within a month, atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in the ex export excerpt below. Oppenha Oppenheim faces the uneasy balance between his no moral concerns and obligation to carry out the work to of war. Thank you very much, Kim. Uh, American Prometheus. Because American are, Prometheus, okay. Yes. Uh, what else did you say? Um, it's something that you pronounce well, I don't know. Laboratory. Uh, this time lab you, yes, this time you mispronounce it, I don't know why. Because I, I've heard mm -hmm. you pronouncing well sometimes. Okay. And I think that's all. Okay, okay. let's move on. All right, so please, um, Carlos, could you could you read the first four paragraphs for us? Okay, Robert Berheimer. After the return to Los Alamos, everybody seemed to be parting with his usual exuberance. Richard Feynman was sitting on the hood of Jeep beating his bongo drums. But one man, I remember, Bob Wilson, was just sitting there mopping. Feynman brought that uh, later. It's mopping. Mopping when is when you mop the floor. It's moping. Okay, Carlos. Could you carry on the other three paragraphs because it's too okay. small? Okay, right. What are you moping about? Asked Freeman. It is a terrible thing that we made, replied Wilson. Would you start it? Freeman said. Remembering that it had been Wilson who had recried him to Salomon from Princeton. You got us into it. Okay. He recruited and mopping. Could you repeat? Mopping. No, not mopping. Mopping is when you mop the floor. In this case, it's mopping. Mo. Mopping. Mopping. Mo. Mo. Mopping. Not mopping. Mopping, mopping is a feeling? No, mopping is thinking. Okay. It means thinking. And mopping okay. is when you mop the floor. You know the okay, difference? Yeah. Okay, and, okay. and the, when you mop the floor, mopping is written with two P's. Those are okay. different words. Okay. Because it's mopping. It's thinking, thinking about something. Okay, perfect. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. Do you, do you guys have any questions about the vocabulary? Do you have it? any question, Carlos? What is the meaning of G, uh, Jeep? Jeep is a, a kind of car, you know? Ah, okay, okay. It's a brand, okay. A car, a kind of car. Yeah, it's a, it's a car brand, right. right. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Any other questions? Okay, so let's carry on. Do please, can you have the floor and read for us? Edu? Yes, uh, starting from Wilson aside, right? Yes. Okay. Wilson aside, euphoria was only to be expected. Everyone who ca had come to Los Alamos had come for a, re for a good reason. Everyone had worked hard to accomplish a d difficult task. The work itself became satisfying, and the stunning accomplishment of the Alam, Alam Gordo <laughs> infected everyone with an overwhelming feeling of excitement. In the process, and even someone with, a, with as lively as a mind as Feynman's was elated. But later, but later he said of that moment, you stop thinking, you know, you just stop. Bob Wilson seemed to Feynman the only, only one who was still thinking about it at that moment. 
Okay, Edu. Do you have any question about the paragraph? No. Okay. Nothing. It's, it's lively, not lively. Okay. No. Can you okay. give us a summary? Excuse me. Can you give us a summary about what is going on so far? I couldn't get a lot from this from this so paragraph. Yes, but what can you paraphrase that for us? I know that you are able to. Just to say the same thing with your with your own words. Uh, Marta elated means thrilled, happy, delighted. Okay, Marta. We were just talking about the. Okay, we were just talking about the the way people felt at the, at the place they were. Uh huh. Yes. But that's just what I get. Um, from this paragraph, a lot of people just parents who just stop thinking about what they did, what they they are doing. Yes, Is there, right? there are exactly everyone was everyone was sad. They shared the same thing, the same feeling, or no? The same. Are no. you sure? No. Uh, no. Okay. No. <laughs> yes, the vast majority of people. Were feeling, were feeling happy or sad? Some of them were feeling sad. Mm -hmm. Who, who was sad? Bob Wilson. Exactly, and the others was, the others were. Didn't thought about it. What happened? Yes, we yeah, talked. They they were partying. They were partying, yeah. so they were happy, right? Because of their accomplishment. The only mm -hmm. one who was concerned so far was Bobby Wilson. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. So, Gina, could you have the floor now and read for us? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, one day soon after the Trinity test. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Gina. From from but. From uh, ah but. Okay. Uh, but uh, Feynman was wrong. Oppenheimer was uh, thinking about it too. In the days after the Trinity test, his mood began to change. Everyone at Los Alamos uh, eased off uh, on uh, the long uh, hours spent in the lab. They knew that after Trinity, the gadget uh, had become a weapon, and weapons were controlled by the military. Anne Wilson, Oppenheimer's secretary, remembered a series of meetings with Army Air Force officers. They were picking targets. Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer knew the names of the Japanese cities on the list of potential targets, and the knowledge was clearly sobering. Robert got very still and ruminative during that two-week period. Wilson recalled, partly because he knew what was about to happen, and partly because he knew what it meant. I have to continue. No, no. Thank you very much. Could you summarize for us? Um, uh, after the test they made, um, uh, Oppenheimer uh, be became um, um, more, more, more conscious about uh, the consequences uh, of uh, the of the of that weapon. Uh, and about the use that uh, the military would uh, uh, have done of it. Uh, and for this reason, uh, uh, his uh, uh, colleague Feynman de described him uh, as a ruminative uh, in the sense that he was um, 
he was thinking a lot about uh, uh, the use uh, that uh, mi uh, the military would have uh, made of, of the bomb. In particular, uh, uh, he knew, Oppenheimer knew the names of uh, the cities uh, who were potential targets. Uh, so this is the point. And that, also the other uh, people uh, was uh, um, less, uh, less uh, um, excited than before. Everyone uh -huh. seemed to, to be aware of, uh, of the real uh, uh, power of the bomb. Yes, it was very well done, but uh, it was not uh, everyone who was concerned and aware of it, you know. Just uh, some people, uh, Oppenheimer, Bobby Wilson, you know. The others were happy because they, they had accomplished something, and the word is ruminative, ruminative. And you are right about the meaning, it means... Uh, thinking about something over and over. Uh, could you could you tell us the meaning of is it off? What uh, does it mean to is off? Uh -huh. mm. off uh, um, uh, I I thought it meant meant that uh, 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 they were um, uh, the excitement were. Uh, like uh, mm, no, I don't no. Know, I, I it do not, uh, it has nothing to do with the excitement. Yeah, uh, yes, they, yes. It, it has to do with the hours they spent in the laboratory. You know, they they had each job on the long hours spent in the lab. So they were there working more or less. Uh, oh, uh, less, less. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much. Uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Mm, no, no. Thank you so much. Uh, guys, if you have any question about the vocabulary, you can type on the chat box, okay? Marta, uh, can you have the floor and read for us? Um, one day. Soon after the Trinity test, Oppenheimer started Wilson with a sad, even morose remark. He was beginning to feel very down, Wilson said. I didn't know of other people who were quite in the mood he was in, but he used to come from his house walking over to the technical area, and I used to come from the nurses. Quarters and somewhere along the way, we often bump into each other. That morning, he's puffing on his pipe and he's saying, Those poor little people, those poor little people, referring to the Japanese. He said it, he said it with an air of resignation and deadly knowledge. Thank you very much, Marta. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have any question about the vocabulary? No, yeah, what is morose? You temper? You temper? Morose? Uh huh. Uh, like gloomy, you know, sullen. Like upset? Yes, like sad. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thanks. Can you give us a summary? Um, that, no, not really. I, okay. I'm a uh, lost. Okay. Uh, Bobby Wilson were, used to go to where? Every day. Come, come from where? Every day. What happened this day? 
no. to where Oppenheimer was going and what happened in this paragraph. Uh, uh, he used to come from his house walking over the technical area. No, 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 not really. Anna. Yes, yes, yes. Bobby Wilson used to to go uh, to to his house from from the nurses. Uh huh. Quarters. You know, he uh, Oppenheimer, and well, they they bumped into each other, mm -hmm. and then uh, Oppenheimer was smoking his pipe, mm -hmm. and he said something that he startled Bobby Wilson. He said, "Those poor little people, those poor little people." In which kind of mood was he when he said that? Sad, upset. Said, but also resignated. What does it mean to be resignated? It means that you accepted something, or, or no? Yeah, she was like uh, resignated, like uh, convinced about Acce accepting, right? Yes, he he accepted. Uh -huh. He was sad, but he. There, there was nothing that he, he could do, so he had a, an air of resignation, you know? Mm -hmm. Because it was a, some sort of fatalism. Okay? Or okay. you should go. Hello, Hussan. Where? Well, how, how Hello, Hussan. How are you? Hi, thank you. All right, thank you for coming. We are reading an article about the, uh, the Second World War. Okay. What happened today? To where Oppenheimer was going and what happened? Oh, Hussan, could you mute your microphone while you are not speaking, please? Thank you. Okay. And no, no. Can you see the screen? No. Okay, Hazu, Hazu G. Can you see the screen? Hazu. Can you speak? Can you un unmute your microphone? Okay, Sharafi, are you there? Sharafi? Not Hazun and Sharafi, I cannot hear you, guys. Alright, I will... I will come back to Carlos then. Carlos, could you... Which for us? Sure. Okay. Uh, that every week, however, Oppenheimer was working hard to make sure that the bomb exploded efficiently over those poor little people. On their evening of July 23, 1945, he met with Gen, Thomas Farwell and his eight LT called John F. Moynaham. Excuse Senior, me, so uh, Carlos, Lieutenant Colonel. Okay. Lieutenant Colonel John F. Moynaham to Senior Officer designated to supervise the bombing run over Hiroshima from the island to, of uh, Tinian. It was a clear, cool, starry night, pacing nervously on his office. Shane is mocking Oppenheimer wanted to make May uh, Oppenheimer wanted uh, wanted to make sure we 
again. Behind him, uh, wanted to make sure that they understood his presses. Oh, no. together. How could uh, we can't understand anything? So I have a Kahania. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, what's up, Kujo? Mute your microphone. Hello. Yeah, I I just want to tell you that you are speaking with Carlos at the same time. Why you are not speaking, please? Maybe you have um, another window opened. No. No, can you see the screen? Yes, I I'm can so see this. You are you and Carlos speak at the same time. We can't no. hear it. No, it's a, it's not happening for me. Maybe you have two windows open. Yeah. Close the. Maybe you have two windows open. Maybe the classroom is playing outside the zone. No. Or maybe it's something with your connection. Okay. Sorry, Carlos, can you carry on? I'm sorry for that. Sure. Oppenheimer wanted to make sure that they understood his precise instruction for the delivering the weapon to tar on target. Lieutenant Colonel Moynihan, a former newspaper man, published a vivid account of the evening in a, a 1945 uh, uh, pump help don't let them bump through clouds or through a uh, overcast. Oppenheimer said he was emph emphatic dense. Uh, he's never stalking. Go to see the target, the radar bombing. It must be dropped visually. Don't strike this fit, turn it out. Another cigarette, of course. It's matter if the if they should check the drop with radar, but it must be a visual drop. More striders. If they drop in it at night, there should be a moon. A, a moon. That would be best. Of course, they must not drop in a rain or fog. Don't let them detonate is to hide. The fury it fits it on is just right. Don't let it go up or the target won't get as much damage. Uh, thank you very much. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Mm, not really. Can you give us a summary? Yeah, uh, Oppenheimer are the uh, military people are planning how or are, they are planning what is the current moment if, if during the day, if it's during the night to drop the bomb. They are planning some of the of that. Yes, because he he wants everyone to see the bomb, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, let me scroll down. Regina, could you please read for us? Me? Yes. Okay. Um, the atomic bombs uh, that Oppenheimer had organized into existence were going to be used but uh, he told himself uh, that uh, they were going to be used uh, in a manner that would not spark uh, a post-war arms race uh, with the Soviets. Shortly after the Trinity test, uh, he had been relieved to hear from uh, uh, Van Nevar Bush that uh, the interim committee had unanimously ac accepted his recommendation that the Russians be clearly informed of the bomb and uh, its Im impending use against Jap Japan. He assumed uh, that such uh, forthright uh, discussions uh, were taking place uh, at uh, that very moment in uh, Potsdam, Potsdam, where President Truman was meeting with Churchill and Stalin. He was later appalled to learn what actually happened uh, at that final big three conference. 
instead of an open and frank discussion of, of, of the nature of the weapon, Truman coyly confi confined himself to a cryptic reference. On July 24th, Truman wrote in his me memoirs, memories, I know, I casually mentioned to Stalin that we had a new weapon of unusual destructive force. The Russian premier showed no special interest. All he said was that he was glad to hear it and hoped he would make good use of it against the Japanese. This fell far short of what Oppenheimer had expected. As the historian Alice Kimball Smith later wrote, what actually occurred at Potsdam was a sheer tra travesty. Okay, thank you very much, Gina. You pronounced it well when you, you. When you said memoirs at the first time. And then you okay. correct yourself and you said memories, but it is written memoirs. Okay. Mm. Uh, do you have any question about the vocabulary? Uh, mm -mm, yes. Uh, uh, starting from the end, sheer travesty. Okay. Sheer means clear. It was used just to emphasize it. And travesty means a lie, you know, something not, that's not true, not accurate. You know, like a big lie or, yes. or something that is absurd or distorted, representing something. And, uh, sorry, sorry, Anna. Yes. And I, I, I don't understand your explanation okay. about share tra uh, travesty. I don't know. Okay. Could you give me an example or something? Like yes, share is just to emphasize. You know, it's like a very or clear. And travesty is something uh, that she is false, absurd, or a distorted representation of something. Um, for, for instance, the absurdly lenient sentence is a travesty of justice. The penalty that the judge gave to, to the reaper was a Travesty sentence. Something like that, you know? Do you understand, Carlos? Something that is absurd, preposterous. Um, distorted. False. Inaccurate. Do you understand now, Carlos? Okay. Uh, any more questions, guys? Any other questions? Zina? What does it mean? Um, post-war arms race. Spark a post-war arms race. What is that? Uh, second Which line? line? Let me see. Ah, Sparky, a post-war arms race. Racy. Um, yes. is, is partly is when you like when you set fire at something. Mm -hmm. uh, a post war is, is like a, a war that, he, that he happened next to a previous war. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. Uh, so. Uh, basically, a, a race, uh, people making more and more weapons after um, this war, like, like, a, like a triggering people to make more weapons. Is it yes. clear or no? Yes, yes. Uh, in the sense that uh, Oppenheimer's concern uh, was that um, if the Soviets uh, wouldn't know uh, the potential of that bomb, they would, uh, I don't know, they would have um, made another, uh, another war after. Yes, uh-huh. 
Yes, I, I, I think so. More, any, any more questions? No, no. Anyone else? Okay, so Gina, could you give us a summary? A quick, a quick summary? Uh, yes. Uh, Oppenheimers uh, wanted that uh, um, the uh, president uh, Truman uh, informed the other uh, um, uh, personalities the, 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 who were uh, meeting uh, at uh, Potsdam about uh, the potential of the bomb they were about uh, to uh, to use uh, uh, because he was concerned uh, on the uh, consequences of the use of the atomic bomb um, but uh, in uh, in the facts uh, it uh, uh, didn't happen because uh, um, there was um, there was uh, th there was um, not a real informa information about uh, w what uh, was going to happen um, uh, uh -huh. uh, so yeah. that mm, Yes, uh, here he said that uh, the Russian Premier, that Stalin, showed no special interest about uh, the this, this news. Um, uh huh. Well done. Thank you so much. Okay, Hussan, can you see my screen? Yes, thank you. I okay, let me. Okay. Yes. I will read the Anna, okay? Uh, on August uh, 6, 1945, at exactly 8 uh, 14 a.m., a B 2 B 25 aircraft, the uh, in, uh, Enola Gay. Uh, named after uh, pilot uh, Paul uh, Tibbs' mother, uh, dropped the, the untested uh, gun type uh, uh, uranium bomb over Hiroshima. Uh, John Manley was in Washington that day, waiting uh, an, uh, an exhaustly and uh, exhaustly to anxiously. hear the anxiously anxiously to, no, anxiously 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 okay anxiously okay anxiously yeah uh, to hear the news uh, Oppenheimer had sent him uh, there uh, the uh, one assignment to uh, report uh, to him on bombing after uh, a five-hour daily in uh, communications from the aircraft, mainly final received a tele type from Cap Captain uh, Captain uh, Parsons, who was the arming officer in Inologue, that the visible uh, efforts were uh, were uh, greater than the New Mexico test, but uh, just uh, as uh, Man Manley was uh, about to call uh, Oppenheimer in Los Alamos, uh, Gro Groves stopped him. No one was uh, to dismin dismin need uh, any information about the atomic bombing. Uh, until the president himself announced it uh, frustrated uh, manly want uh, for a, a mine uh, mid midnight walk uh, in 
Lafayette la, la, la Park across from the White House. Uh, early the next morning, he was told that uh, Truman would uh, make an, an announcement at 11 a.m. Mainly, uh, yeah, mainly finally get uh, or pay on the uh, the phone uh, just as the president statement was released on uh, not to in no north uh, nationwide on nationwide radio. Uh, although they had uh, agreed to use a pre-arranged pre code for the convey conveying the news over phone. Uh, Oppenheimer's first word uh, to mainly were, why the hell did you think I sent you to Washington in the first place? Okay, uh, you said 25 instead of 29. It's a B29 aircraft. Mm -hmm. Then the, the second yes. word is delay. Delay. Then you said the efforts instead of the effects. This Anna, uh, mark uh, the word you are correcting for me. Yes, so okay. I can know it. Okay, you said 25 instead of 29. Okay. This word is delay. Yeah, okay. Then you said efforts instead of effects. And this word yeah. here is disseminate. Yeah. Disseminate. Okay. What's the meaning of this word? You know? Disseminate is to spread to spread out. To tell, to release the information. Okay. They are not allowed to tell anyone. Okay. No one was to disseminate any information. No one was supposed to tell anyone else. Any other questions? Do you have more questions, Rosan? No, thank you. Okay. Could you give us a summary? Could you try to give us a summary? Yeah. Brief, brief summary. They uh, they throw the bomb and uh, uh, they should tell Oppenheimer, but they didn't do because that was uh, uh, the the it was supposed to announce by the president. Yes, thank you very much. But you Nothing. you need yes. to use the past things. They threw threw the bomb. All right, in the past yeah. things. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Anything okay. else? No, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Let me scroll down. Uh, mm. uh, the, the link for the article? I, I can't share because I, I pay for this website. You know? Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Marta, can you read for us? Sure. Uh, that same day at 2, 2 o'clock p.m., General Bruce picked up the phone in Washington and called Oppenheimer in Los Alamos. Bruce was in a congratulate, congratulate, congratulatory mood. I'm proud of you and all of your people, Bruce said. It went all right, off the ask. Apparently, it went with a tremendous bang. Everybody's feeling reasonably good about it, off the set. And I extend my heritage congratulations. It's been a long road. Yes, Cruz replied. It has been a long road, and I think one of the wisest things I ever did was when I selected the director of Los Alamos. Well, replied Oppenheimer, diffidently, I have my doubts, general groups. Groups replied, well, you know, I never concur with those doubts at any time. 
Later in the day, No, no, that's that's okay. Uh, okay. thank you very much. Congratulatory congratulatory motion. Okay. Okay. Can you give us a summary? Or do you have any questions? Uh, no, the, the, that day, because of the success of the operation, uh, General Groups uh, called Oppenheimer to congratulate him about it. He was um, in a very congratulatory mood. He was very happy of the results. And um, basically, he, he congratulates Oppenheimer about that. And um, um, yeah, uh, that, that's the summary of this okay. conversation. Okay, and and how Oppenheim he answered? Uh, he says, "How was his mood?" Uh, that that he he's not sure totally. He has his doubts. Yes, what's the meaning of diffidently? Diffidently. Maybe like the doubting. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. At all. Yes, exactly. Well done. Lacking confidence. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you very much, Marta. Thank you. Okay. Nigochi, can you see my screen? Can you speak or no? Nigochi. Raju, Raju G, can you see the screen? Can you speak? Raju? Yes or no? Sharaf, are you able to speak? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, now I can. I'm sorry. Yes. Because I, I couldn't no, hear you. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, no problem, but uh, the the problem is, uh, you know, I can't uh, see the paragraph and uh, I can't read because I'm using mobile phone. On okay. the way, I try to join, you know, on the way, I try to join with uh, my laptop, but uh, that time, you know, I feel more echo that time, but I can see that paragraph to read, okay, but, uh, but I don't know how to use uh, in mobile. You know, I can see this paragraph, but I can't read because it is very small. I don't know uh, how, how can let's, I read. Let me try to, it to make it bigger. Let me see if I can. One second, let me try. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how. It's OK, no problem, Anna. It's OK. You can, uh, you can give the chance to another one. And I know you people are speaking about a war. Uh, maybe yes. it may be it may be about Second World War. I don't know. Yes, uh, it's and about Oppenheimer. The, you know, okay. and, he, and he, you are speaking about uh, you know bomb and yes, uh, Oppenheimer made the nuclear bomb. Okay, yeah, nuclear bomb. Uh huh. And we are talking about his moral. Uh, dilemmas, you know, because they they had okay, to accomplish to do what they were supposing to do. On the other hand, they were uh, guilty because of that, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Especially Oppenheimer and Bobby Wilson. Okay. Okay. O all right. So let me come back to Gina. Gina, can you read? Can you read the next, the last paragraph for us? Uh, later, later in the day, the news uh, was announced uh, over the Los Alamos public address system. Attention please, attention please, one of our units uh, has just been successfully dropped uh, on Japan. Frank Oppenheimer was standing in the hallway right uh, outside uh, his brother's office when he heard uh, the news. His first reaction was, thank God, it wasn't a dud. But within seconds, he recalled, one suddenly got uh, this horror of all the people that had been killed. 
He has any question? Dad, what does it mean? It's something that she doesn't work well. Ah, okay. Not to, not meet the, the standards. In this case, the boom. Okay. Can you give us a summary? Uh, yes. Uh, finally, um, the the um, uh, there there was uh, the announcement of the. Um, uh, Drop, dropping of the atomic bomb and um, uh, Oppenheimer uh, knew uh, that uh, the operation was uh, successful and um, on one end uh, he was uh, um, uh, happy about uh, this news but um, uh, immediately he thought uh, about um, uh, the people who suffered uh, as a consequence of the dropping. Mm -hmm. Yes, again very well done. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So, Hussam, can you read the question and try to answer? Uh, yes, uh, no. No. Yeah. Read, read the question. Yes, okay. Yeah. Describe the emotional state of Bob Wilson and Richard Feynman in the uh, opening of the ex, uh, Exer, Exer, Exert. Exert. Uh, Exert. Uh, sit. Uh, tech Text, uh, textual evidence in your reasons focusing on uh, focusing on actions and uh, dialogue, dialogue that support your dialogue that support your description okay, okay. response dialogue is that okay. okay can you give it a try Uh, I think it's very difficult because I I didn't came from the beginning and uh, I didn't have opportunity to read it uh, all the article so I think you you have to skip me to somebody else. Okay. <laughs> this is difficult. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm, I'm sorry. Marta, can you give it a try? Uh, describe the emotional states of Bob Wilson and Richard Feynman in the opening of the excerpt. See textual evidence in your response, focusing on actions. No, I can't. Do. <laughs> okay, guys, so let me come back. Okay, let me come back to the first paragraph. Okay. One second. Okay, so Hussan, can you read the first paragraph, please? Yes, uh, Robin, uh, Robert Oppenheimer. After the return of uh, return to Los Alamos, everybody seemed to be uh, par uh, parting uh, when his uh, usual. Yeah, Anna, you you this stop the moving this one. Okay, with his usual. Uh, experience, 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 I don't know the word. Exuberance. Exuberance. Richard Feynman was uh, sitting uh, in uh, the hood uh, of a jeep uh, eating uh, his uh, lane bongo. Uh, beating his bongo drums, uh, but on uh, man, I remember Bob Wilson was just sit, 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 uh, there, uh, mobbing, firm man, wrote uh, later. Okay. What are you? Yeah. <clears throat> what are you mobbing about, uh, Feynman? It, it's a terrible 
think that we made the blind version, but you started it by uh, Remembering that it had been person who had uh, rec recruited him to Los Alamos from uh, Princeton. Yes, you got uh, us into it. Okay. <clears throat> so, Hussam, if they were parting, they were happy or sad? I think they 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 didn't was they didn't uh, or they wasn't be comfortable because they said uh, because they feel shame about making the bomb. No, they were parting because they they were happy. Okay. Simon was happy. All right. The I, only one I, who was moping I, was Bobby Wilson. What's the difference in between there, uh, between them? Let's yeah. let me put the question back. Back. Okay. What's the difference between them? You know? Can you try to answer now? Yeah. They were partying, they were happy, okay? But if Feynman was happy but, and, but and I, Bobby Wilson was moping, moping is speaking over and over about something, okay? And then Feynman said, but you started it, you got us into it, okay? So what's going on? What's the difference between their moods? Can you can you try to answer? Well, uh, it's still difficult, but uh, I think uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, I think. Uh, one of them was happy and one of them was thinking a lot about the uh, about the bow. Yes, exactly. You know, Risha Feynman was happy. They were partying. He he was uh, playing his bongo drums. You know, but Bobby Wilson was sad. Bobby Wilson was concerned, thinking about it. You know, and then. Feynman blamed Bobby Wilson. He answered, you got us to there. You started it. You know? Yes. Okay. Let's try to answer the second question. Okay. Marta, can you try? Okay. Why is Bobby Wilson established that Oppenheimer calls the Japanese those poor little people. Use evidence from the text support. Use evidence from the text to support your response. Mm -hmm. Maybe because he knew that he knew that the Hiroshima or the bomb that he was creating, he was building, was gonna hit right on them? I'm not sure. Let's read it again. No, I think it's. Uh, Hold on, I'm 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 trying to find 
Yeah, I think it's behind that. Mm. What is that? No, it's down. I keep here. here. Yeah. Yes. But I, I agree with you, you know? Uh, I believe he was startled because the Oppenheimer was the one who made the bomb. So he was not supposed to be sad or, or something like that. Do you agree with me? Um, or do you think he, he was startled because of he, his air of he resignation? I, I'm not sure what was the real reason why Oppenheimer wanted to build this bomb in the first place. Uh huh. So I think he, because of. It's, it's just uh, guessing. Uh -huh. I think because of both reasons, because he made the bomb and because he he had an hour of a resignation. He was they sorry for, for the people, but he accepting it at the same time. But at that time, they were already in, in war with Japan. Sorry? Well, United States in Japan and Japan. Japan um, were in a war and ready for him to create this bomb. I, I can hear the audio here at the same time. My gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Okay. okay. So, Sharaf, can you read the question and answer? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Anna, okay. because I can't see that paragraph, sorry. I will read for you when you try to answer. What can you infer about the relationship between the scientists in charge of the Manhattan Project and the government officials who made decisions about what to do with the atomic bomb? Use specific evidence from the text to support your response. Hmm, it is difficult to answer, sorry. <laughs> okay, Gina, could you try to answer? I, I'm not sure, but um, um, I think that uh, the scientist, scientist task was uh, just uh, to make the bomb work. All the decisions about uh, the use of it uh, was uh, uh, up to the mili military, so that uh, it was a relation of um, of uh, subordination. I don't know of the science uh, in confront of uh, uh, the military force. Yes, I, I agree with you, because it is written there, you know, weapons were controlled by the military. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I think you are right. Thank you. Okay. So, okay, Sharaf, uh, what's the meaning of the ruminative? Um, can you repeat the word, uh, Anna, or can you write that word? Yes, I will write on the chat box. What's the meaning of the ruminated? Chat box, my box, where are you writing? I don't know. I will read for mm. you, okay?
I will read for you the paragraph and then you tell me the meaning of your rumination. Okay. Okay. But Feynman was wrong. Oppenheimer was thinking about it too. In the days after the Trinity test, his mood began to change. Everyone at Los Alamos is off on the long hours spent in the library. They knew that after Trinity, the gadget had become a weapon, and weapons were controlled by the military. And Wilson, Oppenheimer's secretary, remembered a series of meetings with Army Air Force officers. They were picking targets. Oppenheimer knew the names of the Japanese cities on the list of potential tar targets. And the knowledge was clear, clearly sobering. Robert got very chill and ruminated during that two-week period, period. Wilson recalled, partly because he knew what was a about to happen, and partly because he knew what it meant. So can you try to guess, based on the context? Um, I hope uh, uh, they already knew about that operation. Mm, Is it not that exactly. what you mean? No, <laughs> not exactly. Mm. You know, um, pounding, thinking, okay, reflecting. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of you, ruminating. Okay, okay, thank you. Animals like cows, they, they eat grass, and then they, they throw it up, and they chew again. They ruminate, mm -hmm. but when, when you use it, it's like a, some sort of metaphor. When someone is ruminating, someone is thinking over and over again about the same thing. Okay, yeah, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, last question. Um, all right. Hussan, what is coily? Uh, no. uh, I will answer this one. I will read this one. Use context uh, to determine the meaning of the word coily, coily as uh, it used in American uh, promises, like you uh, write your definitions on call here. Yeah, uh, I think uh, this was uh, the word. Uh, uh, I will uh, I will lose my dictionary. Sorry, <laughs> but I cannot uh, recognize it from the. Okay, it has an L and a. Y at the end, so it's an adverb. Mm. If you know the meaning of koi, you know the meaning of this word. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, it's like decent, decent, or something like this. Or, uh, More or less, it is yeah. in a shy or a modest way. Yes. yes. Uh huh. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for coming to my hangout. I hope you had learned something from it. Yes, okay, thank you. Thank and you I well hope you, you can come again next time. Does anyone want to make any comment or question or suggestion? Yes, okay. And, and why you don't use uh, uh, articles from Voxy? It's going to be available for everybody. Article only. It's, it's a, an article from a website that I pay for. Okay. Actually, yeah, it's, from, it's from my high school. Okay. It's from my high school. From um, high school? Okay, very yeah. old. <laughs> 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 I think, yeah. Okay, but it's a very good uh, article, but it's uh, difficult also. But, uh, yeah, it's very difficult. Yes, uh, but... Uh, I think if you use some article from Voxy, it can be easier to use because you know. But I, I, I can't do that. I can, 
I can't show their articles in in news, you know. No, I no, you can't. You can't do that because it's open. Everybody can register and use the article. It's not uh, not the truth, you know. Uh, okay. Even, even uh, if somebody didn't pay for them, they they let it open, so everybody they, can. If they allow people to to share, okay. Yeah, yeah, they allow, of course, because everybody can uh, can get the article, you know. Um, okay, so next time I will I will try to, yeah, to use an, an article from them. Yeah, because you know they use uh, they use better article. Uh, sometimes some uh, some words it's very difficult, so you don't need you don't need really to learn it because you will not use it. So so uh -huh. you know yeah. It's better to use them, and it's uh, there's yes. This article was from my high school. It was really difficult for me. I had to Google the definitions. I I went over it, and and for this reason, I was able to present it to you. You know, because I struggled at the beginning to to understand. You know. Okay, Zina, would you like to? To make a comment or to say something? Oh, I just I just want to thank you. I, I now I go. I have to go. Okay, you are more than welcome. Thank you, Marta. Any comments? Um, suggestions? Yes, uh, I like a lot. Uh, it was very interesting. Uh, uh, thank you for listening out. Uh, nice to meet all the new friends. And I hope to see you uh, again in, in another hangout. Yes, I, 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 I will plan more hangouts for us. Okay, Nigoti, would you like to say something? King, King. But uh, I would like to ask uh, why instead of uh, making hang making hangouts of, of different books each time. Why don't we just do a handout of one book so we can follow the sequence, you know? Because I've, I've been using a website from my high school and they don't have the, the entire book in there. Uh, they okay. just have the excerpts from books. And those are, are lessons that I'm supposed to do anyway. So I do the lessons, I learn, and I share with you. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks. You are welcome. Mm -hmm. um, Nigoti, I hope you can read next time as well. But I called on you several times and you didn't answer, so I'm sorry if I skipped you. Would you like to say something, Nigoti? Nigoti, King? King him? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Could yes. you see? Could you see the text at this time? Yes, I saw. Sorry, the court. I uh, just here, and I uh, maybe I understand you a little. Um, I'm so sorry. Yes. So I uh, think this uh, step about the war between the uh, Soviet Army and um, Japan. And they bomb in the um, Hiroshima uh, 1946. Uh, 40, uh, so uh, this is uh, very terrible for the Japanese. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe <laughs> this that's so um, interested. Um, I can um, hear some. Uh, Everyone talk and discuss, but uh, uh, I can uh, see and I hope next time I uh, try and read this chat with everyone. Uh -huh. So, yeah, uh, can you uh, hear me and understand me, Anna? Yes, I can hear you. I can yeah. understand you. You know, yes. I, I called on you. Several times, but you didn't answer, so I had to skip you. And yeah. I don't know if you know how to see the text. You you just have to click on the arrow that is in uh -huh. my picture. You know, 
So next okay. time you will be able to read. But uh, at least I'm glad that you that you understood the main idea of the text. And I hope you had learned something from the hangout. Next time I will I will call on you more more, you know. I will insist yeah. more to yes. to hear from you. Because yeah. I thought you didn't want to participate at all. You know, I called yeah. you only why I called yes. on only I said Nigot, Nigot, Nigot and I I didn't hear any answer so I thought maybe she doesn't want to participate. I'm sorry for assuming that. Yes, maybe uh, I can uh, connect and discuss with you after time you in next week, yes? Yes, in order to see the text you have to click on the arrow Yes, That's yes. on my picture. Next time you, you do that, you, okay? And you, you can unmute your microphone and, and say, Hey, I'm here. I'd like to speak. Okay? Please yes. do that because I I don't like ignoring people. And I I didn't want to do that with you, to you, yes. you know? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much for this time. Just I hope next year, uh, next next time, I will join and uh, read this chat together. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. I hope yes. this thing. I hope this yes. thing. I, I wish you you will be able to participate next time. And this thing yes. about the Reizu G, because I called you on him several times, you know, and I yes. couldn't listen anything. Okay. Yes. What about you, Sharafi? Would you like to say something? Um, can you hear me now? Yes. It's okay. I, uh, thank you as well. And uh, I would like to introduce my friend uh, Nagoti Hain. Is her name? Yes, we've and met. Actually, I, yeah, actually, she want to uh, speak. I don't know. Sometimes uh, I don't know why why she don't want to speak. Uh, and I she can't. Wants, uh, can, she, she wants, wants to, to speak. Do, she didn't understand when I called her. And yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I simply assumed that she, she didn't she want to speak. It was my mistake, and I, I apologize. Yeah, uh, she want to speak, but uh, she don't know. You know, maybe she don't know how to. You know, open that uh, paragraph. Could you uh, my problem is my problem you is you know I don't ha I don't have a proper microphone so when I open you know my uh -huh. I can I hear open you my okay. <laughs> uh, I can you know when I open my uh, mobile phone you know that time uh, I can't see that text so I don't know how can I solve this problem but uh, uh, I bummer. hope I can I can solve that problem that's thank you bummer. thank you Anna. No, thank you. Uh, Sarah, if you, if you could do me a favor and yes. take a time to explain to Nigot how to to see the text, you know. Okay, I be, will, I will, I will. It I would will. be great because next time she would be able to participate more. Okay, no? it's, it's, it's not a problem for me because, you know, I am speaking or texting every day with her. So I will explain. Yes, I know. For that reason, I I am asking you, and I I will be really grateful. Okay, okay, okay. I will, I will. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Thank you very okay, much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. 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 bye.